Go ahead and make presentations soar with Sway. My name is Nadia Williams, and I'm the Digital Transformation Coach for the Cobb County School District. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter using the handle Ms. Willipedia, or you can find all of us on the Digital Transformation team on Twitter using the handle Digital Cobb. Let's go ahead and check out what Sway is about. So what is Sway? Well, Microsoft Sway is, at its core, a presentation tool. You can find it at sway.office.com as a part of Office 365. Now, it can be used to make infographics, newsletters, slideshows, and interactive presentations. So the objectives of this presentation are to show you what Sway is all about, some of its features, and of course, how it can be used in a variety of settings. Now, remember how I said that Sway was at its core a presentation tool? So you're probably wondering, how is it different from PowerPoint? Well, it's extremely different, yet very similar. So Sway is very hard to define because it has so many possibilities. So think of it as a media curation tool. Imagine that you're in an art gallery and you're looking at a variety of paintings. Sway works in that format, except those paintings would be images, videos, 3D models, documents, PDFs, you name it. So you can embed a PowerPoint into it, embed multiple videos, include videos or photos in a grid, collage, slideshow, or photo stack format. You can embed audio or even other HTML items, such as an interactive model. You can also replace PowerPoint altogether with a more interactive presentation through Sway. So how does it work? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of Sways. Once you go to sway.office.com or simply even just sway.com, you'll be brought to this window where you'll have sample sways and you'll also have any of the sways you have created. You also have this part to the left where it asks for you to either create your own sway or import a Word file, PDF, PowerPoint um, to go ahead and get another sway started. Now I want to take a moment to show you a Sway that I had made to showcase some blog options for my team, the Digital Transformation Team. Now on the left hand side you have all of the different cards. Cards are basically the different types of slides or uh, portions of the Sway presentation. The middle right here is the storyline and this is very similar to the left hand pane, the slide pane in a PowerPoint um, editing window and you can scroll down to see all the different options uh, that I have included. When I click this little arrow here, it goes ahead and shows me a preview of what I have um, created. When I click play, I actually get to see the sway in full swing. Notice how it automatically has some intuitive animations as part of the presentation. So notice how the blog options sway went from top to bottom. It scrolled vertically. So I want to go ahead and show you quickly one that actually scrolls horizontally. Now different from the previous sway I showed you, the one about the blog options, this one is one that was originally made by Microsoft. It's of the Art and Film Institute at the LA County Museum. What's interesting about it is it also scrolls horizontally as opposed to the vertical uh, scrolling of the blog options one. Here we see where in Sway you can actually embed an interactive Google map, which is pretty fascinating, great way to make things engaging and um, real world relevant. You can also see how there's images that of course can be embedded in here. And if I wanted to take a standalone pick, uh, view of this particular image, the iconic robot from the movie Metropolis, I could just click on it and it stays still without any animations. Now with all of these wonderful features, you're probably wondering how you can use Sway in the classroom. Well, get creative! Sway can be used to make a smart board slash e-beam slash Promethean board center. So here's an idea. During Center's Day, use the interactive whiteboard as its own interactive station where the students can explore the content. Give them maps. Give them videos. Give them PDFs so they can actually manipulate and play with so they can really understand and have that content come to life before their eyes. You can also make an interactive newsletter to email to parents. Here's an idea. Yeah. Embed the PowerPoints from the week. The students can use it for review. The parents will know what's going on. And if anyone missed a class that week, there it is right in front of them. You can also include pictures of the students hard at work and PDF files of the required assignments. You can also make an interactive activity for a BYOD lesson. So here's another idea. Include videos and images and documents to provide students with background information on topic. Social studies and English teachers, here's a great opportunity to bring DBQs and LBQs to life. 
You can also make a presentation of student growth per unit or per school year. So include charts, graphs, or spreadsheets with information. And teachers, this is a great opportunity to make an amazing artifact for your TEKS portfolio at the end of the school year. So let us know how you're swaying your lessons. You can find us on Twitter using the handle DigitalCobb, or you can tweet at me directly using the handle Ms. Willipedia. And once again, this has been a presentation of the Digital Multimedia Learning Department here at the Cobb County School District. More specifically, the Digital Transformation Team helping you transform your education to practice. You can find our blog using the address digitalcob.wordpress.com or all of the wonderful Cobb County School District at www.cobbk12.org.